first I'm going to show you, this is just, it's an umbrella, okay? It's a very nice umbrella. So each umbrella comes with a sleeve and a shoulder strap if you care to do that, okay? So this, this umbrella is, is black and white, okay? Pretty standard. I want to show you one out of its sleeve, and this one's orange. Now, the cool thing about these is that you see the ferrule on the end there, the ferrule on the end. That is the same color, so there, there's matching colors throughout. So this is orange and white. We've got our ferrule that. Our handle, nice easy grip handle, is orange as well, matching it. We've got two hook and loop straps to keep it safe. Now, I'm going to open this up inside the house, and we're going to show you the details of it on the inside. Okay. Okay, there we go. So first of all, you're going to see that this, this is a fiberglass shaft, and again, it's the matching color with the orange. So no matter what the, it's white and orange, white, white and red, white and royal, whatever the colors are, this is going to match, the handle is going to match as well. So if I could put this down like this, maybe you can see some of the construction in there, the construction. So we got the steel, and we also have the fiberglass here. Really nice, solid construction. This is a 64-inch arc. It's a huge umbrella. It's going to keep you nice and, and dry underneath when we got some rain. I'm going to go back a little bit, see if I can tip this forward so that you can see you can see our, our branding on there. Nice branding for color, and you'll see each panel has a vent here. Hopefully, you can see my little fingers dangling there. Um, so when we get those wind gusts if we're out on the golf course, if we're waiting for a bus or a train, we're under, we're outside, we're not underneath something. Uh, wind gusts is going to blow through those vents, and we are going to stay nice and dry. And then again, I just pull it closed, so it had that auto open. I did it real slow because I'm inside, and I got a little chandelier here, and I got stuff on the table. So, so it's just an auto open there. Now when I'm done, I'm just going to cinch it closed with my two straps, put it back in its sleeve. Um, I can put it in my uh, golf bag, which is perfect for the golf courses, perfect for pro shops as well at golf courses. I'll come a little forward here. Um, because every golfer needs an umbrella in their bag. Um, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, they call for rain, and it doesn't rain. They call for rain, and it rains like a son of a gun. Um, so you always need to be prepared. So you need this uh, also in cars, uh, sports parents on the sidelines of football games, baseball games, soccer games, anyone playing outside, they're going to need umbrellas too. Um, my son played on his high school uh, golf team uh, many years ago and um, everyone got a golf umbrella. So they were prepared. So umbrellas, really, really a nice gift, a uh, good tea gift for golf tournaments. Again, pro shops for golf league. If you're running a league, get the league logo on there. Um, and TV stations. I know a lot of the Philadelphia TV stations, uh, they have everything's branded from their shirts to their lighter jackets to their heavier jackets to the umbrellas if they're outside giving them a report. So again, 64 inches. That's a that's a huge arc or canopy if you want to call that. So it's going to keep people dry. All right. That is all we had today. Now, if you had any comments, any questions, um, and you're watching this after we were live, that's okay. Just put them in the comments section. We go back, we look at that to see if anyone has put something in there. And if they have, we will get back to you. We will answer your questions, anything you have. Uh, until then, I just hope you all stay safe. Um, and we do all the things we need to do, including washing our hands, wearing our face masks, and socially distance. And... I will see you again next week. That's all for today. Thanks.